kwa mimiki ye kodi ya da enti kofi ya kwa shata diya besem epa thank you oh please i was expecting a clap don't clap according to my height please clap when I was backstage, I told God that may God increase your salary according to how loud you will clap for me. Yeah. Good evening. My name is Lexi the Comic, took you to be mute, and I'm here to entertain you. Do you have some married men here? Proud married men. Let me see by hand. Raise it. Are you not sure? <laughs> Let me tell you, they are the reason why I am not married as of now. If you want to know the number of years a man is married, ask about his wife. How his wife is doing. The way he will respond determines the number of years. If it's one year, two years, you ask him, how, big man, how is your wife? Excuse me. You mean my lovely, lovely, baby, lovely, lovely wife? <laughs> she is good. After five years. How is your wife? She is good. <laughs> Ten years. How is your wife? <laughs> <laughs> but I realized something that it seems dating is way fun than marriage. Yes, the things you enjoy during dating, when you marry, you don't enjoy them again. Especially when the guy tries to propose to you fresh and you are in a fresh relationship. Sometimes things you can do for yourself, the guy still wants to help. Like a gata, you'll be walking with a guy. A gata, small gata, the lady can jump. The girl be like, baby, no. You hurt yourself. Jump at my back. Mm. Are you okay? Yeah. But when they marry you, <laughs> it's a different ball game. Do we have Ashanti men here? Proud Ashanti men. Ashanti men don't marry them. When they marry you, they forget they are married to you. Yes, they will be working with you, you will be behind, and they will be ahead. And who betides you, and they hear Ajay, they turn, you fall in. Oh, by man, I don't know. I don't know how many times I say, oh, John lies, he's trying to find a piano, don't move, don't move, John. Ashanti's are different. You see, sometimes you watch movies, you see that the guy and the girl will be at the beach, the girl will be at the other side of the coconut tree, the girl will be at the, and they'll be like, catch me, catch me, catch me. Then the girl will just run off towards the sea, the guy will run, catch her hair, they will fall, the waves will splash at them. Don't try that with Ashanti guys. You will take Ashanti guy to the beach. You go and hide behind the coconut tree, expecting him to join you. I'll say, wow, I'll hold you there. I'll say, oh, then you run towards the sea, expecting him to follow you. Share your summa wa catch up to where you want Before bar, baby, I will not see me finish your new one. Oh, the gym is too. Ashanti, but but it's better with nordness. Date nordness. They won't say sorry when you trip, but they will encourage you. So you'll be working with Inusa. You trip. Expecting you to say sorry, no, you won't. You'll be like, ah, Aji, I will go many mass, Aji, Aji, sorry, you'll be back as my wife, John Girl, Aji, I'm a kind three, Aji, one, Aji, two, Aji, three, Aji, sorry, Obiambo, same Aji. But it's better with fanties, marry fanties. Fanties are romantic, I think the whole guy. Because if you trip, a fancy guy will be like, ow, oh, Atasha, ow, oh, Kafra. But it is worse with guns. Don't get guns. Guns, they are always expecting your downfall. You'll be walking with a Yikwe, you trip, you expect him to say sorry, you'll be like, Ate so! Ebe, enye te shi, ekwe shi a son! Guns are different. In my family, I'm the tallest. Both nuclear and extended. But I never knew I was very short. You see that girls, when you are dating a girl, sometimes when they come over for the weekend, they want to wear your shirts, they wear your boxes, and they'll be walking in the house, and it looks all big on them, and it's so cute. My girlfriend came one time. She wore my boxes. That was when I knew I was short. She was standing in front of the mirror. Baby. Can I keep this bikini? 
and let me tell you, short people, we hate to be told what to do during sex because we can't multitask. We can't multitask. You see, baby, girls will be like, ladies will be like, baby, once you're inside them, they'll be like, baby, hold my boobs. You see, we can't hold because by the time we stretch, this thing will be out. <laughs> Short people. Oh, but you see, ladies don't like short guys. They don't like by nature. If you are here, you are dating, uh, uh, you are short and you are dating, you are married. Let, no, then the lady just compromised. But now their taste changed. You ask them because of Nanado, now we have a short president. Now you ask them, what kind of guy do you want? Oh, me and Kukurebi and a Pampe Mapa. But let me tell you something. Have you observed that? Women, are you here? Yes. Lady, guys, listen to this. Pay attention. You see, women have a certain perception that the way a guy you look in terms of height, that's the same way you look. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But sometimes they take you to the room and when you take off your outfit and they realize that the way you look, the one district one down doesn't reflect. <laughs> But you see, women cannot tell you because of your ego. So, if you want to know, early morning, after you guys have had sex, midnight, the song she sings, you will know your position. <laughs> so if a lady, the next morning, starts singing like songs, that, if you are big, if you are really huge, you hear, Wo son na wo krong, na wo ya But if you are old, but you are still strong in bed, the sugar daddies, when they wake up in, in the morning, you hear, <laughs> But you see, guys like us, women think the way we look is the same way we look. But you see, God denied me this, but as for this, Jesus. Let me tell you, because I know women have expectations about me, mostly when I take you to the room, I make you take your shower first. Then you lie on the bed and I go and take my shower. When I come, I have a towel wrapped around my waist. And I unveil it like I'm cutting a saw for public toilet. <laughs> I come, I'm like, you should have, ah! <laughs> Crazy. So you hear? You hear? You hear? Sometimes you hear? You hear? My girlfriend, people will be telling her, why are you following this short guy? What have you seen in this guy? You'll be like, Minim niya me niya. Minim niya me. Woo! But, I realize that, you see, some of you, you have names that you have no idea how you got the name. You don't like it. Let me tell you. Mostly those names come from broken homes or babies that they were not planned. You see, guys who will marry you, once they are dating you, people come up with names. We will name our kids Troy and Roy, Teddy and Kevy, blah, blah, and blah, blah, Ayewade, Kofi Capito. <laughs> but if a guy impregnates you and you are not the girl she wants to marry, but by mistake, and she says, I bought it all, I bought it all, I said, I won't abort. Then finally you give birth and they call him like come and name the child. When they come, they have no name in their head though. They take their child. I call away, you better know Ogre. See on it and But sometimes I keep hearing old folks say that our time we are not listening to sensible songs. Have you young folks, have you heard that? Yeah, there are times they were listening to cold good songs. There were songs, blah, blah. Let me tell you something. All the days today, they were making nonsensical lyrics. Some of you tell me, high life musicians do good songs. Explain this to me. That the Lumba is your favorite high life singer, right? Explain these lyrics to me. Shuba da di da, shuba da di da. Shuba da, shuba da di da ye dey. Shatuba di, shatuba. Shatuba di ye dey. And one guy, Kojoenchi, I thought he was best. Kojentri, year of return, if your relative is coming from abroad, what will you ask from your relative? iPhone, money, sneakers, something. Kojentri is like, Saruri, money, 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 
Kojo, it will be to traffic you. I did the fear. Hey, Kojo. It's crazy. Now, let me share some experience with you. I have limited time. How many of you have ever picked a VIP bus and your stomach started worrying you in the bus? And you don't know how to tell the driver. And you are in the bus, you are uptight. Like, they will be watching Kuma Wood move you. Everybody is laughing. One hour complaining. And DNA. Jimmy Sana Fiasu. Fasia Samsa. You win this. Everyone is complaining about AC. You pay, you'll be sweating. Recently, I went to Kumasi. I, did, I couldn't catch my flight. I lost, so I joined the bus. And I went to eat fufu. So, but whilst eating the fufu, God told me that, my son, use the washroom before you go. Satan said, oh. Then I joined the bus. When the bus moved down my stomach, so I walked straight to the driver. I'm like, driver, I beg you, when you get to a place of convenience, allow me to. He said, no problem. Now we were getting to Konongo. The driver decided to divert into a filling station. When I saw him diverting, I knew it was because of me. So I started walking through the aisle. Then the passenger started talking. Hey, a dear brain, the beer, who fucka, who let you say two years, who the can go pack it, see if you the driver said, Oh, so much will be connect. And I was the one in the middle, I'm like. Let me tell you the fun part. The fun part is the filling station we went to, the watchman was drunk. So I told him I want to use the washroom. He brought a bunch of keys, took me there. When he takes the key, my stomach opens, ready to. Then he will insert it, twist it. It doesn't open. He say, Sorry, I know why. <laughs> Matt right different. <laughs> but how many of you have ever slept in a hotel in Kumasi before? Kumasi, yeah. Uh, one time I went to sleep in a Kumasi hotel and the next morning they came to knock at my door. I said, what? They said, money devotion. <laughs> and have you realized that Ghana police and uh, uh, Europe and those American police, they are different. In terms of and, uh, so many things like crime scene. When there is a crime scene, white people, when they come, they use a tape. They barricade the place. You, you testify to that, right? Yeah, are you sure you're a, a, a foreigner? The way you're doing it. <laughs> and now you're Napco. <laughs> they will tape the place, use megaphone. Everybody move for, uh, backwards from this perimeter. This is a crime scene, blah, blah, blah. Have you seen Ghana police at a crime scene before? When they come, no perimeter, nothing. You. They will come and join those people around. I'm like, hey, you need to yet. I will do this last one and I leave. How many of you enjoyed school? Have enjoyed, you loved school. You, you even wish you were still in school. You missed school days. Have you ever been in a position whereby the class is very noisy but you are not talking? And the teacher walks into the class and says, I want names of talkative. And the class prefect has no names, but he goes back to some old list. <laughs> and that list, your name is inside. But for some funny reason, the class decide that they won't cry. But you, because you didn't talk, you don't see why you shouldn't cry. So they will go, everybody. Pa, 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 odeshi. Pa, and you and you and you po, they go. Then you, you go and take your own. You want to join. But the tears... The one stupid boy will come and ask you, ah, but you let you didn't talk. <laughs> you, 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 saw, you, saw, you saw it, right? I was sitting at my desk. This foolish boy. He, they said, oh, but we can see blood. You can see blood. Thank you so much, Ghana. It's a hit, man.